Hello gentle viewers, this is Out Guardian welcoming you back to Tabletop Simulator in this lovely, lovely forest where we're going to be playing THE Manhattan Project. Um, before we get started with the game today, I just wanted to quickly talk about something. Um, I don't bring this up very much when I play games, but I feel this is the kind of game that I need to give a bit of a disclaimer to. Um... I have absolutely no problem when playing games. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Disassociating with the historical context of the game. I can play a World War II game and play Germany and not have any problems with that. Because it's a game, right? It's an abstract puzzle. Uh, I'm not actually killing people or doing horrible things to them. Um, I'm just playing a game. Um, and I know for some of my viewers, um, in particular if you're Japanese or you're from Japan, hearing about atomic bombs might concern you. And I respect that, and I, my feelings certainly will not be hurt if you decide to skip this video based on the name. Um, or if you just decide, nah, I'm good. I don't really feel the need. Um, but it is something I wanted to get out of get out there up in front that this is a game about building designing and testing Although not using very important nuclear weapons um, And if you have strong opinions about that, then this may not be the video for you The other thing I want to bring up about this game um, And there's a reason why I played energy empire before I played this game because I forgot but also, this is a very nasty worker placement game. I'll explain as we play what makes it so nasty, but it's a very, very important thing to keep in mind. If you're playing, if you want to play a worker placement game with friends uh, who you like quite a bit and you don't want them to hate you for the rest of their lives, <laughs> maybe don't play this game. Uh, unless you know for a fact that you know, your friends are lovely people and that they won't get mad at you. Um, <clears throat> and I'll talk about that as we actually play through the game, but... It's published by Minion Games, designed by... I feel want to call him Birdie Tibets, because that's the name of the baseball manager slash coach, but it's Brandon Tibbetts. Um, and it is a worker placement game in which the players are trying to compete to build... Uh, a certain number of atomic bombs. Um, there are two kinds of bombs in the game, rich uranium and plutonium, and they're worth different points accordingly. With the two-player game, which is what we'll be playing today, our goal is 70. That's what we're looking for. The first person gets 70 victory points wins the game. <clears throat> and how, my dear friends, you may be asking yourself, does one actually get points. The most important way to get points is building bombs. Uh, there's a deck with 30 bomb cards. You can see three of them right here. And in order to build a bomb, you need specific workers. This level little guy here is a scientist. This is an engineer. And you need a certain number of uranium or plutonium. In this case, six, three, and five. Once you have all that, you build the bomb. And then you score the points. Plutonium bombs are a bit different. If you've tested a bomb before, you get the bigger number. Um, otherwise, you get the smaller number when you play it. You can also get victory points by loading your bomb. Uh, you'll get one of these bomb load tokens here that's worth five victory points. You have to pay a certain amount of money, and it is going to cost you a bomber. But of course, it can very much be worth it. Um, and the first person to test a plutonium bomb in a two-player game will get six victory points. That's how you get victory points. But in order to get there, you need resources. Every turn, you're going to make one of two decisions. You're either going to work, or you're going to bring your workers help. Knowing when to bring your workers home is as important as knowing when to place a worker. 
Um, so let's talk about the worker placement spots on the board. Uh, every spot has a picture on it or explains what you have to do in order to um, accomplish certain goals. So let's talk, starting with the building action. <clears throat> um, the building action is the only space here <clears throat> excuse me, that has infinite spaces on it. You can put as many workers here as you like, as often as you like. And then you pick your building. Going from left to right, buildings either cost 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 14, or 20 bucks. Once you have a building, it's yours forever. And buildings each have very specific functions. So let's talk about the factory, for instance. You can place one worker of any type, and there are three kinds of workers. There are laborers, engineers, and scientists. And you get to pick either a fighter or two bucks. Your personal buildings are also places you can legally put workers, and you can do that as much as you want on your turn. You can only put one worker out on the board, but you can put as many on your own spaces as you'd like. Um, mines produce yellow cake uranium, which is the first step in order to making a bomb. Universities give you scientists or engineers. This is a bomber factory. And then here we see you need two workers to either produce two yellow cake or a fighter and two bucks. And there's another 45 cards in there. If you pick one of the three most expensive buildings, the 10, 14, and 20, you also put a dollar into the bribe pile. How do you get the bribe pile? Uh, that's a great question, and I'm definitely looking at the manual right now uh, to remind myself. Um, I'm pretty sure it's if you get the cheapest building, you get everything that's in the bribe pile. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, there's no reminder. I kind of wish there was, but yeah, if you build the cheapest building, you get all the money in the bride pile. Um, lastly, and this is quite important, do note that the two and three dollar spots, you can actually build for free as long as you spend an engineer. Um, you can just take the building and add it to your tableau. That's a construction space, very simple. We're gonna skip over airstrikes and repairs and talk about factories. You can spend one worker to get two fighters or two bombers. You could send $5 to get three yellow cake, although note the bribe symbol. You can spend, place a work, or sorry, you place a worker here with three yellow cake to get $5. That's right. You're basically selling it, I guess, which is a strategy, certainly. You can send a worker here. Now, this is interesting. You would get $5, but all of the players would get $2. And lastly, this one, if you place only an engineer or a scientist, you get $3. These will also get you, of course, something in the labor pile, in the uh, bread pile. Next, we have mines. <clears throat> you can come here, pay five bucks, and get four yellow cake. You can come here and get three yellow cake, but everyone else gets one. Or you can use a laborer to get two yellow cake. You can also go to public universities. You can get three laborers. You can get an engineer, a scientist, or you can spend three dollars and get your pick. Do note that um, in addition to the player colors, we have these gray workers. These are called um, contractors, and they're temporary. Um, once you take your worker retrieval, ter retrieval turn, you get all of your, um, what you call it. They go back to the general supply. There's not a lot of times you'd want the three laborers because you start the game with all the laborers you can ever have, but it's worth noting. Do note that if you get engineer or scientist of your own color, you get to keep those. Um, those don't get returned to the supply at the end of the turn. 
Next, you design a bomb. It requires one scientist and one engineer. And what happens is the person who put the worker there gets to draw, gets to pick up all three cards. It's always one plus the number of players. They pick one, hand the other two to the second player. They get one, and then the first player gets the original one. Lastly here, we have the reactor and the enrichment plant. Where for a scientist and two yellow cake, you can make plutonium. Or for a scientist, three dollars and two yellow cake, you can make a uranium. Please note you can never have more than eight uranium or eight plutonium. The last thing I want to bring up is the espionage track. Now, the espionage track is one of the extra pieces of player interaction that gets some people kind of grumpy. When you pay, when you get espionage, first you have to pay $3, and then you get one for the rest of the game. Uh, however, you can only use espionage on the turn you generate it. So let's say you have three espionage, you have to come back here and pay $3 to so get a fourth. You can use your opponent's building. Not the places on the board, it has to be one of the buildings that they have built. Like, let's say, for instance, that red already had the mine. Yellow could go here and get some espionage and then use red's buildings. Which not only gets you a benefit, but also blocks them from using it. Pretty simple. Very, very unique. I haven't seen too many worker placement games that have that functionality. Then we have airstrikes. Now, I will note that the physical board game does include a little card you can play on top of the airstrike space, um, which only allows for one worker spot. Airstrikes are the part of the game that's going to instantly convince people that no they don't want to play it with you anymore. Airstrikes let you either use fighters against fighters or fighters against bombers. And if an opponent has no fighters, you can actually bomb one of their personal buildings, which does one damage to it. It is a legitimate part of the game, but it's this is probably the number one part of the game that really causes people to say no thank you. Because it's so mean-spirited, and you don't get anything from bombing your opponent other than slowing them down. It's a legitimate strategy. Um, I've played this game with other people, and they've used it to great effect. But it can generate some bad feelings. Um, I have heard of people who say that they want to have no part of it. The game really doesn't work if you take it out entirely. That's why I recommend, uh, if you don't like it as much, put on the additional card if you have it, and then there's only one uh, airstrike spot. And that way it's not quite as... Um, it's not quite as relentless. Uh, so it's one damage for every bomber, but you can only... No, you can do as many airstrikes as you want to. If I had ten bombers and Red had no fighters, I could bomb them ten times. Um... Oh, that would be 10 damage. It is $5 to repair um, 3 damage. Uh, however, everyone else can repair damage at the cost of $2 for one. Uh, $3. I think that's cumulative, actually. Like, I think you have to spend $10 in order to repair 3 damage. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so it'd be, yeah, it would be $2 for the first, then $3 for the second, then $5 for the third. That's right. Um, that's basically the game. Uh, so each turn, you're going to place one worker on the main board. That is optional. Then you place any workers on your buildings. That is also optional. With the understanding, you must at least spend one worker if you're going to take a worker placement turn. Uh, building bombs, you can do it any time once you have them. 
Um, so what you have to do is you have to have all the requirements at the time you build it, but you can do it, and then it's just done. Uh, there's really nothing the other player can do to stop you. And that's it. With that said, I think the last thing to do is talk about the nation's mini expansion. There's actually two expansions for this game. I really like second stage. Um, unfortunately, this mod doesn't have it because second stage adds new bombs that are a little bit more interesting to build. Um, but it does have nations of the world, which gives you a unique building essentially that no one else can ever use and no one can ever damage. So let's see who we're playing as today. We're playing as China. And Brooklyn. Interesting. So here, the Chinese one, we would place a worker on this card and we get to bring all of our laborers back. Note this keyword here, your buildings. So essentially what it does is it allows you to avoid uh, having to take a worker replacement action, but note it only works on your laborers and only on your buildings. Uh, that does not include engineers or scientists. Britain can place a worker here to get two fighters or repair a building. All right. Uh, red is going first. They only get $10. Yellow has 12 And red's going to decide what they're going to do with their turn. Um, so what are the goals you want to do? You definitely want to try to be the one to design the bomb. For that, you need both an engineer and a scientist. Now, I could easily spend $10 to get this university, which would then make an engineer, which would then let me get cheaper buildings on the line. I think that's a really good combo move. So we're actually not gonna overthink it. We're just gonna do it. So engineer, laborer comes out here. I spend $10, important. One of those dollars goes to the bribe pile. So I'm just gonna get rid of the 10. I'm going to put a dollar in the bribe pile. And then I take this building for my very own. And I put it on my board here. Um, this mod is really good, but the snap points aren't ideal. Like you can see here, the card's actually off center. Um, it's still a really good mod, but it is a minor complaint to have. Now I can spend any number of of workers on my um, on my own buildings or on my nation's card. I'm going to instantly come over here with my laborer and we're going to make ourselves an engineer who I could then use immediately if I so chose. Uh, and that's my turn. A very, very strong start for China. <clears throat> now, what would the United Kingdom like to do? Oh, very important. Sorry. Shift, shift, replace. <clears throat> they would also like to design a bomb. And if five bucks to make scientists when normally making... Actually, normally making scientists would just cost you a worker, right? <clears throat> but it's a second way to get scientists. And some bombs do require multiple scientists. So I think they're also going to start by building a building. Remember, as many people as you want to you can go there. And they're going to take the university for five dollar dues. Again, note, this is not one of the more expensive buildings. There's no bribe sign there. So we don't put any money in the bribe pool. Shift, shift, refill. Ooh, that's very expensive, but that's a very powerful building potentially. Now keep in mind, there's only, you can only have so many engineers, so many scientists, you're limited by the supply. Except, of course, for the fact there's contractors, so. 
Um, I am then going to take one laborer over to my Britain card, and we're going to build two fighters, giving me three. And then I'm going to take this gentleman, and we're going to make ourselves a scientist. And the turn of the British player is complete. Now, China. China's kind of cash poor right now. Unfortunately. But on the other hand, if they're going to be the first person to design a bomb, they do need a scientist. I think they're going to send a laborer to the university and get a scientist. Also, I love the meeples, by the way. Look at how adorable they are. Look like uh, Professor Bunsen from Sesame Street. It's brilliant. Um, I could go to the China card. I don't really have a reason to do that. Yet, so we're just going to sit tight and the turn then goes over to yellow. Um, yellow is going to do the... So here's the story, right? I know what red is going to try to do. I need to be in a position to exploit it. That's actually more important to me than, uh, than doing anything else. I do have quite a bit of money. But that's still not good enough for me to take either of these. They're just not good enough. Although mine is pretty tasty. Um, and anyone can work there. Hmm. I could try to make some money. It's tempting. But I think getting some yellow cake would actually be a really great idea. So I'm gonna take my laborer. We're gonna head right on over here and we're gonna spend five bucks. I'm just gonna delete the money. I can always clone it if I need to. Um, and that's going to get me four yellow cake. So I get some delicious cake. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, I have no other buildings, so my turn is done. And just as predicted, they commit one worker and a scientist, one engineer, and they're going to design the first bomb. So, let's talk about which bombs might be worth doing. The Minion is an incredibly expensive bomb in terms of resources. It's also worth up to 35 points if we load it. That's halfway to winning the game. Dem apples, on the other hand, is something you could make relatively quickly. And 15 points out the gate can be a pretty nice thing to have. Fat Chance, on the other hand, is definitely the worst bomb of the three. It's as expensive as the Minion and re raw resources. Um, although Plutonium is a little bit easier to make, that's true. It's also worth fewer points. Like, 5 plutonium would be 10 yellow cake. Um, that's interesting. I've always found it kind of unusual that it's so expensive to, more expensive to do uranium than plutonium. 
Because plutonium is harder to make, right? Uh, I've never really understood that. Why, from a game design perspective, they made it harder to make uranium. But here we are. I guess it's because the uranium bombs are always worth more points. So it does make sense. Um, but anyway, so here's, here's my thinking as China. If I don't take the minion, that means that the British will, the British. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's going to take them a long time to make that bomb. A very long time. And I could just take Dem Apples because it's something I could make relatively quickly. Knowing that I'd basically get my choice of Fat Chance or the Minion. Fat Chance is easier to build, there's no disputing that, but it's also worth a lot less points. So that's important to consider as well. And the thing is, one thing not one of us has drawn yet is something that makes uranium or makes plutonium. Which is the most important card you can come up with. So we're both pretty far away from really getting bomb making going. Uh, they're gonna take a Dem Apples. So that is now China's bomb forever and ever. And now the British have to decide, do they want plutonium or do they want uranium? Because they've already got some yellow cake, plutonium's actually easier for them. So they're actually gonna take Fat Chance. And then, they also get the minion. We then put out three new bomb cards. It's all about them plutonium bombs, I see. We have Icarambra, the Big Enchilada, and Mary Jane. Oh, there you have it. And that concludes the turn of the red player. Uh, he could put a laborer here to get this laborer back. I think he'll just make next turn a restoration turn. Oh, uh, okay. Y'all's got a scientist and they got two bucks. I think yellow's gonna come over here. Eat two of their delicious yellow cake. Do not eat yellow cake uranium, by the way. It's a very bad idea. And they're gonna be the first person to get some plutonium. They're gonna start working on their bomb. And that concludes Yellow's turn. Red has one laborer left. There's no reason not to use it. Oh, eventually gonna need a second engineer and a second scientist. But they also need money. And they need yellow cake. They want everything, really. Um, we're gonna come over, oh no, that has to be with an engineer or scientist. I was about to come here, gross. I certainly don't wanna give them $2 for free. Or a yellow cake for free. I could get three contractors from the general supply and just start cleaning up in the different areas here. It's not a bad strategy, but it doesn't get me closer to building bombs and you have to keep that in the back of your mind. I think I need the yellow cake. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna get three. But I do have to give one to my opponent, gross. Oh, that concludes China's turn. Britain has no workers to place, so they're just going to bring them all home. All 
I really wish scripting wise that this mod had a way to like hit a button to bring all your workers home because especially later in the game you're gonna have when we get up to 12 workers that can get a bit silly if you're bringing them all back manually uh is that everyone i suppose it is okay no that's yellow's entire turn that's that's all they do uh back to red a uh, red's gonna do the same thing china's got to bring the workers home But they're in actually a pretty good place right now. Actually, both players are off to a pretty decent start. It's not their fault that the buildings so far aren't that great. Uh, the mine isn't terrible. But it's two workers for two yellow cake. Where I can just spend one engineer over here and get two yellow. Speaking of engineers, we do need an engineer if we're going to design our own bombs. Uh, we actually need two of each to design Fat Chance. So we're going to use our first action. We're going to come to the public university and we're going to get ourselves an engineer. And then I'm going to send my laborer to university to get ourselves our second scientist. And that'll be that. Uh, back to to the red play that the really the world is their oyster right now They could go ahead and design some more bombs um, There's no penalty for taking as many bombs as you like but none of these are particularly great uh, They need uranium which means they need money Or they need a uranium mine which they don't have They need money. They could spend three yellow cake to get five bucks, but they need the yellow cake too. So I think they're going to come over here, as gross as this is. A one dollar goes into the bride pile, and they get five dollars. That's not dollars, that's yellow cake. Oh, but it is going to be two dollars. For team yellow. Okay. Uh, they're then going to use their university to get another engineer. <clears throat> That'll conclude their turn. So. Thinking as a yellow player, I have a natural advantage if I decide I want to bomb red. The problem is, the only thing I could bomb would be his university. And while that would slow him down, it wouldn't slow him down appreciably. And every worker I use to carry out an airstrike is a worker I can't use to actually improve my chances of building a bomb. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to send my scientist... And we're going to turn two, two yellow cake into another plutonium. We're now up to two plutonium. Ah, ah, ah. Remember, we need five. So it's definitely going to take us a while, but it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, and then that concludes the yellow player's turn. He elects not to put anything on the Britain card. Uh, red. Red's got some money. And actually, being able to make money more effectively is a really strong play for him. So he's going to go ahead and play an engineer on the construction building. And he's going to take this building for free. And, by the way... He gets the dollars in the bribe pool. Very nice. He's then going to take a laborer, and he is going to choose to make an additional two dollar dues. And done.
Now. Everything slides over. This is important. Because it might reveal something very critical to our successes. Holy shit. Wow. Three engineers for six yellow cake is redonkulous. It's also 20 bucks, so it's not going to happen anytime soon. But damn, son. Um... <clears throat> they can't make more plutonium right now because there's only one worker allowed there. So I guess the next best thing is to go ahead and get another engineer because I'm going to need two of each. Uh, but I can't go to university to get an engineer. That's annoying. <clears throat> hmm. I've got $4, which is enough to buy either of the, the lower two factories. I'm actually going to need some more yellow cake. That is a certainty. So let's go ahead and let's come over here and let's get to yellow cake. I'm just going to go boop, boop. And done. Red could go get another scientist. And actually, remember, they do need two of each, and they've already got their two engineers. So we're going to come to the public university and get ourselves our first scientist. Our second scientist, rather. Back to yellow. Yellow needs a lot of things. They need money, and they need... I think they're going to turn around and sell their yellow cake to get $5. Because then they don't have to share it with anybody else. A dollar does go into the bribe uh, pile. But it's five dollars for yellow. Um, Red is going to spend an engineer to get three dollars. Again, one dollar goes in the bribe pile. We do the bribe pile. It comes from general supply, right? Yeah, it always comes from the general supply. Okay. And that's going to be uh, $3 for Team Red. Um, Alright, we've got $9. That factory is pretty good. <clears throat> but I'm really looking at trying to build up enough cash to... The thing is, there is no other way to get cash right now. And that's the big problem. Uh, all the cash spots are, are blocked. Um, I could just go claim a building that makes cash. Um, and maybe that's a smart move. Yeah, I think I will actually. Um, it's going to cost me three bucks. No, that's stupid. 
Um, I'm gonna spend seven bucks. Get a dollar back. And I'm gonna take the nicer factory. Which gives me a fighter and two dollars if I use two workers on it. That mine's not very. I mean, I mean, this is actually a really good mine <clears throat> because it's three yellow cake for two workers of any type. That's a better value than this one. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to come over here and we're going to clean this building. Everything shifts over. Because remember, it's free as long as you use an engineer. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to use his last worker to go ahead and trigger his factory and get two more dollars. <clears throat> so, right away, a very important thing just happened. This is now ten dollars. But also, we got the reactor that either turns one uranium or seven yellow cake into three plutonium. This is the most important card on the board right now. Although, this one is certainly close. Um, this is a bad time for yellow to be out of money. Alas. Uh, is it time for an airstrike? I don't think so. I mean, I'm facing an unfortunate fact, which... No, wait a minute. No, he has to retrieve next turn because he doesn't have any workers to play, which means I'll get a turn before he does. So that's actually quite good. Yeah, y'all's just going to retrieve this turn. Oh, there's no sense in... I mean, yes, I could build two fighters, but... I'm really, really annoyed by one sick possibility, uh, but I can't stop them from doing it, alas. Uh, there he is. There's my last worker. And then him. Like, I'm really annoyed that Red's basically got the golden ticket to grab this super mine. Um, now, it's not without cost. I mean, yes, it's 10 bucks, and more importantly, it is going to cost three engineers. And that's certainly not something you're going to want to spend every single turn. But, that's an enormous amount of yellow cake, and it's really going to help them going forward. And this instantly becomes, by the way, a very realistic bombing target. Something to consider, for certain. Um, so, Red is going to do the same thing. Red's going to bring the workers home. They don't have a choice. It'd be like that sometimes. I haven't used China's ability yet. I just don't think it's that great. Unless you have, say, contractors. Then it kind of makes some sense. Okay, amigos, um, it is time to claim that building. That's ten bucks. It is a dollar to the bribe pile from the general supply. I actually had taken it out of what someone had sent for. That was wrong. And here is my mine. I am then going to use a laborer to trigger my university. Uh, we'll deal with that here in a second.
Who else got 20 bucks on that? That's kind of a waste of money. Um, they're then going to get themselves their third engineer, and they're immediately going to send all three of their engineers to the mine to earn six yellow cake. Hmm. If I am yellow, I am eyeing that reactor pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to take an engineer and I'm going to build this mine. Not because I particularly care about it, but because I want the money in the bribe pile. Um, I'm then going to get my third scientist. Because more workers is more good. It is a worker placement game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trigger my factory, which is a fighter and two dollar reduce. Um, I'm not going to bother with this building just yet. One yellow cake's not really going to move the needle for me. Um, and I've really got, hmm... Well, we'll see what happens. Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, here, you go here. You go here. That's better? Question mark. Okay, now instantly, this is something I am eyeballing the hell out of this China. It's a way to make uranium much more efficiently. Not incredibly efficiently, but a lot more efficiently. Both of these would be really great, but I don't have the money to buy either one of them. Now, an important consideration. If I go to a money spot like here, I'm effectively giving two free dollars to Britain. And I don't like how he's building up his fighter fleet. That does have me a bit concerned. I could get $4, which would be enough to buy maybe this university. Um, that's definitely got some attraction to it. Now, I can't help but notice that Yellow's only got one engineer. And I'm going to make him work for it if he wants another engineer. So we're going to go to the public university and we're going to take our last engineer. This isn't so much about getting an engineer for me as it is keeping Yellow from getting an engineer. Because eventually they will need two engineers if they're ever going to build Fat Chance. Uh, they can certainly still get their engineer, but it's going to cost them. And I think that's pretty significant. Um, I'm then going to come over here. And I'm going to build a fighter. Like, it's not going to stop Britain. But it is going to slow them down. It's going to disincentivize them from doing airstrikes. Which is why I don't mind the airstrike mechanic. Because it's very much a game of gamesmanship. You have to be able to predict when your opponent's going to use the airstrike. Um, as the British player, I know I can bomb them at will, basically. I have no problem bombing them anytime I like. I just don't really have an incentive to do it just yet. Now, annoyingly, I do need an engineer, but I also need money because I want that reactor. 
I 100% want that reactor. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're not going to... Hmm. No, I don't want to give them any money. Uh, I'm going to use the scientist. I'm going to put a dollar into the bribe queue. And... Oh, there's no hand spaces, so I can't do that. That's fine. Two... And three. Uh, I'm going to use this labor here in the mine to make a yellow cake. I'm eventually going to need it. Um, so that's fine. Um, okay. Red. Red could design and could design some more bombs. That's true. But they need to actually get on the board making their own bombs. So they're going to come over here. They're going to spend three dollars. Two yellow cake. And they're going to make themselves their first uranium. Hmm. I'm thinking about what to do is yellow. I'm also double checking espionage. Okay. <clears throat> it's building, not workers. Okay. All right. Uh, this is kind of a waste of a scientist, but it's so important to our future success. We're going to buy this reactor. Uh, that is going to be $1 into the bribe pool. And then all this money is gone forever. But we get a pretty snazzy building out of it. Now, it's going to take us some time to make full use of it, but nonetheless, <coughs> we have it. Um, red. Oh, damn, son. Oh, wow. I feel silly spending so much money on this one. That's extremely good, uh, is the word I'm looking for. Hmm. I've got a bunch of yellow cake, right? It's not the worst idea in the world to come over here, spend three of it, to get five bucks. And then a dollar does go into the bribe pile. Um, speaking of bribe pile, two workers... Oh, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I'm going to go ahead and bring my workers home. I'm going to do it early because I don't see much point. I need to get that second engineer. I'm actually being held back quite badly by not having a second engineer. And... So, by moving first, I'm hopeful that I'll encourage Red to do the same, or at least not block me from getting an engineer again. Um, Red does have a scientist left, though. And they could sure use some more money. 
Because these are some pretty gnarly abilities coming down the pike. Um... And three bucks is three bucks. It gets him nine, which is enough to buy any of the first four buildings that he might like. And this is a pretty great consolation prize. Even if they decide they don't want the enrichment plant right away. Or even the reactor. That's pretty strong, right? Um. So I think they're going to use their last worker. They're going to come over here. Dollar into the bribe pit. And they're gonna take three bucks. One, two, three. Okay, yellow has a full complement of characters. They still can't train an engineer though. And they don't have any money. And they don't have any uranium or yellow cake. They really don't have anything right now. Um. Taking this mine and getting three, getting four dollars is actually a pretty solid play. I think we'll do that. Gets us mine. And he gets the $4. The money is really what he did it for. Uh, and that puts everything over to the left. Okay. Uh, does y'all want to spend anything else? I think they do. They're going to spend three laborers to get three yellow cake. And this means next turn they can get some more plutonium if they have a mine. Um, Red's got to bring people home now. Which means they can no longer stop Yellow from getting their second engineer. Uh, worth it, though. Because it definitely really slowed them down. Um, definitely worth it. I know I could have gotten another scientist. I just didn't want one right now. As Yellow. Uh, okay, so as yellow, I desperately, desperately need that engineer. Here we go. I can then trigger any of these that I'd like. Um, I don't have any uranium, so I can't trigger that one. Let's do scientist, scientist. Scientist. Fighter. Scientist. And two dollars. And that's it for yellow. Uh, over to red. Red's got all the workers in the world to do anything they'd like with. And they've got a dollar. The question is, do we start spending yellow cake now to start enriching further? Or do we focus on something else at the moment? Okay, let's think about this. This would save them one dollar and one yellow cake to get two uranium at once. It's not that great. Um, I 
Hmm. They've got yellow cake for days. They can get yellow cake pretty much any time they want it. They just either need more money or they need this to come down in price. So I think they're going to go make some money. They're going to send one of their engineers to go earn $3 and put a dollar in the bribe pile. I'm just going to get rid of two ones and then bring out a five. And anything else I want to trigger? They don't need that much yellow cake at the moment. They've got all their engineers. Admittedly, they could take a contractor. Um, it's not like there's a minimum number of engineers that one needs. I think two laborers for $4 is a pretty good deal too, though. I'm going to take another five right here of another one. Okay. Yellow either needs yellow cake or they need um or they need money. So right now they've got seven dollars. They've got six dollars. That is enough to buy that really efficient yellow cake mine. It would make the enrichment plant cheaper though, and I don't necessarily want to help my opponent. Like, here's the thing. I know it looks like red is really up on top of things, but once I can get a really efficient method to start cranking out yellow cake, I'm going to be pretty great. And I'm going to just start dominating this game because of this reactor. Um, And that's indisputable in my opinion. Actually, I could just get one uranium. Like, I've been so focused on the other just piling on the yellow cake because it's generally easier to get. But I can absolutely just get one uranium for $3 and two yellow cake and then turn it into three plutonium the next time I get a scientist. Um, that's, like, super good, yo. I was completely neglecting the uranium part of that, but yeah, this is a really easy way to make plutonium. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and get some... I could get another engineer. I really don't want to get blocked out of getting engineer, so I think I will. I'm going to spend $3. And I'm going to send a scientist to make an engineer. Don't question it. Um, and then I think that is it for Yellow's turn. Red saw has lots of things they can do. But Red's going to make the smart play. They're going to send a laborer. They're going to put a dollar in the bribe pile. Again, from the general supply, it's an easy mistake to make, and I made it a few minutes ago. And they're going to buy the enrichment plant. Which they will then use immediately. It's going to be five bucks. And it's going to be three yellow cake. Get 
getting your yellow cake back. Don't be weird, game. Game. Oh, uh, and then that's going to get them to uranium. One, two, up to three. Now, keep in mind, they could actually launch their first bomb right now. And I think they will. So, we're going to send him over here. We're going to spend three uranium. So, we're now out of uranium. And last but certainly not least, we're going to spend one dollar to actually load the bomb. So, they also get a bomb load token. So, just like that, Red is first on the board with 15 points. How, how happy I am for them. Oh, and that does cost them their only bomber. Okay. Well, yellow now has an important choice to make, which will only be made easier once I start shifting things over. You know what? A way to make workers at will would be pretty great, except I don't really need that right now. Oh, that would be so tempting. Because they've got a really good engine now that can turn yellow cake into uranium pretty quickly. I'd need a second bomber, though in order to really make this work. Because basically, so my objective is basically to hit um, the mine and the enrichment plant to slow them down to the point where I can start using my reactor. Um, let's do it. I'm going to send an engineer to the factory. I'm going to build two bombers. One, two. Um, Red is going to look at themselves and they're going to say, we're going to be in a lot of trouble here pretty soon. There's really nothing they can do about it, though. Other than go ahead and use their mind while they still can. And they can always use more money, right? So I think we're going to come over here. I don't want to, but we're going to. That's five for me and two for them. And then we're going to spend all three of our engineers in the mine. So that we can get our yellow cake. I've got to say, if they wanted plutonium, they would do very well to start investing in espionage. That would be a pretty sneaky way to get that done. Uh, so it is now yellow's turn. Yellow has a single engineer. Uh, I think they're going to do airstrikes. So, airstrikes. The first thing you do is fighters kill fighters. So I have five fighters. China has two. We're going to drop that to zero. And I'm going to drop from five down to three. I'm then going to spend all of my bombers. One, two, three. And I'm going to inflict some damage. I'm simply going to cause... Two damage to his enrichment plant, because I want to slow down his bomb making, and one damage to his mine. Now keep in mind, it's going to cost him $5 to fix all that, um, which is money he can't spend on other things he'd rather do. That's why I did the airstrikes. Uh, that concludes Yellow's turn. It's now Red's turn. Red's got to bring people back. And he's probably none too happy with the British right now. 
The important thing for them is, and this is a very easy trap, they should not retaliate. It is not worth it to red to spend their precious resources when it's a battle they can't win. Because Britain can basically crap out fighters as much as they want to. Um, I'm missing a scientist. Oh, right. Yeah, you come home too. We'll just put that on there as a reminder that it's finished. That's Red's turn. Yellow's going to do the exact same thing. They're going to take all their people home. Okay, um, that's all their workers home now. What would a red like to do? Well, red can't do anything with their mine or with their, their thing there. The thing is, using the reactor is only good because it stops yellow from using it. But at the same time, that doesn't really help them very much. Um, man, an actor, an action, and five dollars to repair seems like a lot, but I think it has to be done. Unless, wait a minute. Five dollars could also get them even more yellow cake. Five dollars could get them even more yellow cake. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. So yellow cake plus three dollars plus making this reactor cheaper could then let them get involved in the plutonium game too. I mean, there's always a risk, right? The risk here would be they get more bombers and bomb us again. Just bomb these buildings to rubble so that I can never use them again. That's a real danger and it's an argument in favor of doing the repair action now uh i'll be right back and when i'm back i'll let you know what i've decided all right friends um i can't take the risk i can't take the risk i'm gonna go ahead and do this as much as it pains me i get to repair three damage so Goodbye, you jerks. Um, I am then unable to use the enrichment plant, which makes me sad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to both factories and get myself $4, though, so I can at least be on my way to doing it next turn. Hey! <coughs> I've got plenty of yellow cake right now. I don't have to go to the mine yet. So. 
<coughs> oh, goodness. So we'll get there eventually. Uh, okay. British turn. Yeah, I think they're going to go make some uranium, but they'll then immediately turn into plutonium. Let's do it. It's going to be three dollar dues and two yellow cake. Goodbye, yellow cake. I hope you were delicious and spongy and had chocolate frost frosting. And then I would get a uranium and I then send two engine two scientists science boys if you will and I immediately turn one uranium into three plutonium uh, I do have enough to finish this bomb however I don't have enough scientists right now so instead, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get a contractor. And then two scientists. And two engineers. Now, here's I'm going to do something that's going to seem a bit confusing. I could keep this bomb for 11 points. Uh, and then I do spend all my plutonium. Or I could take six points and make all of my other plutonium bombs in the future much more valuable. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and test this bomb. Which means it's removed from the game. And I get this lovely implosion test marker. This now earns me six points, and any future plutonium bombs I get, I get the higher point value. Now, it's worth noting, there's only two out there right now, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, last but certainly not least, um, we're going to go ahead and go to the factory here. And we're going to get ourselves two fantastic dollars and a fighter. Because I'm actually going to need bombers too if, if we're going to make all that happen. So All right, back to red. Um... So I have 15 points, yellow only has six, but they also have the key to getting more plutonium bombs. And I don't have enough money to buy this reactor, although I am sorely tempted to do so. I've got plenty of yellow cake. I can't go here to get uranium, which is annoying. So I think I just need money. I'm going to come over here, it's a dollar in the bribe bin, and I get five dollars. I don't really need another engineer at the moment, so we're just going to call that good. Oh, I also need to suck my phone up because my wife is out and I want to be able to read her text when she's on her way back home um okay yeah there's too many other things we want to do these engineers to waste them here I am somewhat concerned about their ability to just bomb my factory again and then I won't be able to fix it that could be pretty awkward. Um, let 
Man. Oh, that would be so brutal if I did that as I'm doing it. I'm gonna give me two bombers. And at this point, Red says, um, I don't like that. I, I don't like that you're doing that. You're making me sad. They're gonna go ahead and spend an engineer to get three more bucks. And then their scientists are gonna go ahead and make them, oh, uh, that's gonna be five put away and three yellow cake and that's two uranium now for team red Um, can one engineer really help yellow at all? Taking this building would not be a terrible choice. It lets them turn two of anything into two engineers or one scientist. That could be pretty doggone sexy. The alternative is go ahead and retreat now, but then that's going to open up uran more uranium enrichment for our good pal, China. So I think we're just going to go ahead. And then, you know what? I'm going to take this mine. And I'm going to tell you why, because I want this money. Um, can you only have eight buildings at maximum? Okay, no, you can have as many buildings as you want. Okay. So that's how a decent amount of money for Team Us, and everything slides over. Now this is the thing that Red is really gonna want. Actually, no. Hmm. Do we buy the reactor? Which will then let us get into the plutonium bomb game if we so wish. I don't think so. I think we just need to keep pushing on uranium. Um. Unfortunately, it says laborers, so that wouldn't pull my scientist off the enrichment plan. I've got yellow cake. I could use money. No, let's get a scientist. We don't want to fall too far behind in the worker arms race. A yellow's turn is going to be quite simple. Everyone's coming home. I was playing Watch Dogs the other day. Watch Dogs Legion, and I actually heard that It's Coming Home song for the first time. It's kind of catchy. I kind of get why English people were all crazy about it. Um, even though I certainly don't care about metric football. Um, that's not really my sport. But it was a neat little song. And I know it's obviously a very, very big deal to uh, other countries. And I have to admit it was pretty cool that one year that America won the Women's World Cup. I actually saw that on TV. Not bad, not on purpose, but it was a pretty cool moment, I think. Okay, yellow's done. Uh, red's got tons of workers left. This is a good time to, to get in there. I 
I don't necessarily want to design bombs. I'm thinking about it, but the only real advantage of doing that is that I would get my choice. And I would probably pick this one. Because I just got a better uranium engine than I do anything else. But that would also discuss me, distract me from my real goal. Uh, no, I'm being stupid. The most important thing to do is get more uranium. Get over here. Three dollars. And two yellow cakes. And now that we're getting super low on yellow cake, I can send my three engineers to get me six more. That's it for red. Yellow can I do anything they want, basically. Um... One plutonium doesn't really do me any favors, unfortunately. And I don't have an alternate way to make uranium. And I don't have nearly enough yellow cake to do this. Although I could have. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to get stupid here. I'm going to go ahead and take this building yet another mine and shift and shift and shift and shift and shift um that's my first action didn't cost you any money um in order to get three plutonium i would need seven yellow cake and that would cost me five workers. No, it would cost me four because I can't count. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm just gonna instantly spend it, including this two yellow cake to get three plutonium. One, two, three. Oh, poop. I know what I meant to do this turn. I'm a, I'm a potato. That's all right. I can do it next turn. Uh, because red's got a pullback. That's got to be red's turn. Come on home, everyone. Um, I'm missing someone. There you are, you little shit. Okay, done. Uh, we're gonna spend... Un Engineer and Un Scientist. And we're gonna grab this bomb right here. Um, Red has a choice. Red is getting to the point where making uranium is relatively easy. This would not be a difficult thing to make for them if they buy the reactor. They are a dollar short of that, however. That is not something to discount. I think they're just going to take Mary Jane. It's an easy bomb and it's a lot of points. So they're going to do that. Meaning, just as we predicted, we end up with the second bomb and three more bombs come out. Okay, the Big Bang and the last word are both pretty sexy, all things considered. Uh, those aren't going to be happening anytime soon, I don't think, but you never know. Uh, I could take a bomb action. I don't have the plutonium yet. Um, oh, I didn't actually spend my two scientists there. My apologies. They should have been there. Um, I do need more yellow cake and I need more money. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, I get two dollars and I get another fighter. That's not a dollar. How do I constantly put things in the wrong bag? I really don't know. Oh, I actually have lots of money. I don't know what I was talking about. I didn't see this pile. I've got a lot of money. Oh well. Uh, Red is fully armed and ready to go. What would they like to do with their turn? Man, using... <sighs> they don't have enough money for the enrichment plan. The second enrichment plan. They need money. Uh, regardless of how they get it, money, uranium costs money. They're going to come over here, put a dollar in the bribe pile, and they're going to spend three yellow cake to get five amazing dollars. Um, anything they want to trigger here? They're really far behind of making uranium, and they really want to get this one done. So they're going to go ahead and spend um, a scientist, three yellow cake, game, stop, and five dollars that they just got to make two more uranium. One, two. They could, if they wished, go ahead and make Mary Jane, but they don't have any fighters, and they can't afford to miss out on that five points, or any bombers. So, they will actually go ahead here and here, and they're going to make two dollars and another bomber. Okay. Uh, the Brits are coming home again. Uh, a very common error, I guess not a common error, but it is an error that you need to be watchful for. Remember that you cannot, repeat, cannot build a bomb on a retrieval phase. It has to be during a placement phase. Um, and I can see how someone could be not paying attention for a moment and then make that goof. So, yellow's done. Uh, back to red. Yeah, red is just enough to make one more uranium, so they shall. Uh, that's going to cost them three dollars and two yellow cake. Goodbye, delicious cake. We'll have to make some more of you later. Um, and then that's, boop, that's up to five uranium. Remember, they need six for this. And then they're going to go ahead and spend their three engineers to get six more yellow cake. And done. Um, okay, I'm going to come to the university and we're going to get three laborers. Uh, those laborers are then going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six. So that's going to get me a total of eight yellow cake. 
Uh, I'm just going to take one of those yellow cake because the others are instantly going into making plutonium. Three of it to be exact. One, two, three. Um, fuck yeah. Let's get on the board. Uh, oh no, I have the wrong combination, but not for long. Oh, I didn't get that building, did I? I meant to, but I never did. That was silly. I don't have enough engineers, unfortunately, to use the big enchilada. I do want to get on the board, though. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and do Icaramba. That's going to be one engineer and one scientist. Four of my six plutonium. Uh, Two dollars to put it on a bomber. These bags should not be that close together. I'm just too lazy to move them. Um, and then I get a... I subtract one bomber. And I get a bomb load token. Just like that. So remember, because I've already detonated uh, a test, this is worth 18 points, meaning that I'm actually ahead of the red player. But probably not for long. Um, depending on how red reacts going forward. Uh, anything else you want to do with my remaining action? I don't think so, because um, the next thing we're going to want to do is just get some more plutonium made, for which I do need yellow cake. Yeah, I'm going to send you over here and get one more yellow cake, and that'll conclude my turn. Uh, back to red. What would a red like to do? Red needs one more uranium somehow. Somehow. Palpatine returned. Um, they don't really have an easy way to get there, though, do they? They've got plenty of yellow cake. I'm not worried about that. They've got the whole thing going. I think they just need more money. Uh, so we're going to spend an engineer dollar in the bribe fuel pool and three dollar reduce. And done. Um, I can very easily come over here and make one plutonium. So I'm a gonna. And that's just two yellow cake. And that puts their plutonium count up to three. One more and I can do my next bomb. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's go ahead and just because I have nothing better to do, let's go ahead and get ourselves two more fighters. And that'll end my turn. Red, you have a scientist and a worker. A laborer, if you will. Oh man, I wish I hadn't wasted you. Oh well. I definitely should have bought that reactor. Alas. I was unsuccessful in my attempt. I mean, more yellow cake isn't the end of the world. None of these buildings really help them at this point. So there's always getting more money. Yeah, let's get more money. Let's just try to get a stupid amount of money. It's $5 and a dollar into the bribe pile. And done. I haven't seen espionage yet, which is kind of interesting. I haven't done that intentionally. It's not like it's a deliberate strategy. But well, we just gotten to the point where we both have such efficient engines that there's really not 
a huge amount of value in getting espionage, especially because we're both using our buildings quite quickly. Um, laborers are going home. I like how we get a bunch of laborers and we instantly just send them into the uranium mines. A very on brand for the British, I think. And I'm still missing two people. Here we go. And that's Yellow's turn. Speaking of espionage, there's really nothing over there I want, though. Like, being able to make plutonium is super cool, right? But it doesn't really help me. Not really. I have $11. But this is what I want, right? I want another way to make uranium. Everything else on here is basically useless to me. I'm going to make the scientists work in the yellow cake. No, I'm not. I don't want to give them free yellow cake. I'm just going to go ahead and take a, a retrieval turn. It's got to be done if we want to be in a position to really cause some havoc next turn. That is everybody back. We're now over to here. One plutonium is enough for me to build my second bomb and I don't even have any other bombs. So I don't really see a huge amount of value. And running this loop again, when there's, I want the flexibility. So we're gonna go ahead and take a scientist. We're going to spend zero yellow cake because I don't have any. Well, that was awkward. I need three plutonium, but maybe I want three plutonium. Um, no, I definitely don't want to buy any buildings because I don't want this to get any cheaper for them. An airstrike would just be mean at this point. Like, the only thing it would do is stop them from getting an additional five points. And then I could bomb their enrichment plant. I just don't think it's worth it. I think there's better things I could be doing with my turn. Like spending five dollars to get four yellow cake? Then I don't have to spend quite so much in order to trigger my reactor and get... Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to come over here, spend five of them dollary dues I've heard so much about. I get four yellow cake. Delicious, delicious yellow cake. One, two, three, four. I then spend two laborers in my efficient mine to get three more. Not money. One, two, three. Bring me up to seven, which is enough for me to send two scientists into my reactor to do some sciencing.
goodbye. I'll miss you. Uh, and that's three more plutonium, up to six. I then spend one engineer, or two scientists, you know what I meant, two scientists, one scientist, two engineers, a million scientists, a thousand engineers, what the fuck ever. Uh, and we spend our four plutonium, dropping me from six down to two. And then we spend two more dollars and our bomber to load the bomb. And I get another bomb load token. So, right now, yellow is sitting at 29, 39, 45 points. But this is going to be an interesting turn because red is actually very, very close to launching their big bomb. Uh, I think that's what they're going to focus on this turn. Um, so. They've already got everything they need to enrich two uranium, which will then be enough to build the bomb. They have the bomber. So they could easily spend, oh, they would need five more dollars. They have enough. Normally I would go out to the board, but I don't see much point when there's other things I'm going to do. So we're just going to actually, we're going to take um, the second action. And we're going to spend a scientist, five dollars, three yellow cake, to make dose uranium. Up to seven. Uh, I need six to make the minion. And I need two scientists and two engineers. So, two engineers. Two scientists. No, that's another engineer. Sorry. And six of my seven uranium. And an extra five dollars. And just like that, uh, I'm just gonna move you all over just so I can see the bomb token. Uh, just like that, that puts red back in the lead, I think. I think that gives them 50, right? Yeah. And yellow has 29, 39, 45. So very much anybody's game though. Very much anybody's game. Anything else I'd like to do with their workers on this turn? Oh, then it's on their bomber. And they've already got the bomb they need to win the game. No, they don't. They'll be exactly two points short. Because that's enough for them to get 68 points, but that's it. They need another bomb. Um, so that is something they're going to have to think about. We're going to go ahead and spend two laborers to get uh, four more dollars. No, sorry, a bomber and two dollars because they do need a bomber. Okay. So, either one of these bombs would be plenty to win them the game. But low-key, so is this one. And shifting to a uranium-based strategy wouldn't be the dumbest decision they could make. It gives them flexibility. Um, so, yellow's turn is going to be design a bomb. And they're going to do something a little bit unorthodox because they don't want it to be easy for red. They're going to take Tomboy. 
Uh, yellow can pick either one of these. It, or not yellow. Red, sorry. You can take either one of these. It really doesn't matter. So it'll take the ones worth slightly more points. And then yellow gets the last one. Why did yellow take the tomboy? Because it denied him. It denied the tomboy to red. Red's got a really good uranium engine. Not such a good plutonium engine. Um, although these new ones here do look pretty tasty. Uh, anything else I would like to do with my lone remaining laborer? I'm gonna need some yellow cake. I might as well get one yellow cake. It's not the greatest decision I've ever made in my life, but it's a pretty solid choice. So. I need one of two things as yellow. I either need five uranium or five plutonium. I'm definitely better positioned to get plutonium. For sure. Uh, so if I can get two rounds of plutonium, then yellow's gonna win the game. However, an interesting opportunity has now fallen into the lap of the red player. Which is building a plutonium engine. And this is an extremely tasty way to make that happen. Because for $5, I can turn one uranium into two plutonium. And I'm really good at making plutonium. I think that's the route we're going to go now. We're going we're gonna to drop plutonium, uranium. Uh, so we're going to use the engineer, and we're going to buy this reactor for $5. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. I don't have $5. Shit. I, I was mentally screwing up. I thought this was here, and I thought that would just cost you an engineer, but it doesn't. I don't have $5. Um, I guess I better get some money then, huh? Dollar in the bribe pool and three dollars. So, as yellow, I would love nothing more than to block them, but unfortunately, this has to be a retrieval turn. Alas, alack. Is a requirement. Uh, not you. Does everybody else here? No, it's not. Oh, the bomb. That's right. Okay, and we're gonna go boop and boop. And that concludes Yellow's turn. That's all Yellow did. Now it's Red's turn. And Red is going to grab this building now, the reactor. Really, game? How is everything always going in the wrong bag? It's kind of impressive, actually. Any hoozle. Um, they have an engineer and a war laborer work where I left. I can't run the reactor um, because I don't have a scientist tree. Um, so that's just gonna be it for that turn. Yellow needs to get their plutonium on as quickly as possible. And unfortunately they don't have enough yellow cake to make that happen. Um, I could definitely get it though. They've already got everything but the money they need to run theirs. It's important to remember I only need five plutonium total. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get me three plutonium or yellow cake. Yes, it's going to give one delicious yellow cake to red. I don't really care. Mm. 
Okay. That's a dollar. That's a yellow cake. Um, we're then gonna send two laborers to work in this mine to get me three more yellow cake. And then I need another two yellow cake. So that next turn I can trigger my plutonium. From here, assuming red doesn't go there, which they might. I can't really predict that. Um, I mean, I could because I'm playing both sides, but you know what I mean. In a real game, I couldn't predict that. Um, right. Let's get two engineers working over here. Nope, wait, 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 wait. I need four engineers to make... I need four engineers to build this bomb. I was not paying attention. That's right, it's gonna take me a couple turns anyway. Uh, go ahead and come over here. Spend all the yellow cake. El Keiko de yellow. And let's get three more plutonium, putting me up to five. Two more plutonium, and we can trigger the Big Bang, and we can win the game. Which is pretty sexy. Um, I can get an engineer. But the thing is, I can't get the plutonium. It's going to take me at least one more reveal turn, regardless of what happens. So... That's fine. Uh, red. Red doesn't have a scientist, so they can't use their reactor. They don't have enough money, so they can't do that. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This might change things significantly. I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't. Um... Hmm. Huh. Um, I think that's going to be it for their turn. I don't really see any point doing anything else. Okay, yellow. You need two plutonium. You can at most get one this turn. Or you could get really sneaky. Nope, no you can't. You have the money or the yellow cake. Like here's the thing, if they get, no they need the scientist. Or they need the engineer. That's the most important thing they need. They're going to come over here and get their last engineer. That's an easy choice. Um, now they have everything but the uranium, the, the plutonium that they need to set that off. Um, let's start just gathering yellow cake. So that's one, two, that's six yellow cake. Perfect. Uh, 
Okay, back to red. Are they going to try to go the plutonium route? They have to make a decision right now because it's going to affect the rest of the game. Because this bomb is not enough to win. Um, even if they load it, they would end the game with 68 points and they need 70. So that's not going to happen. Um, this bomb is worthless to them. They would need three uranium in order to get... Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to the university and we're going to get a contractor scientist. Who's then going to work in our reactor, spend our uranium, and get us to plutonium. And I think that ends Red's turn. There's not really any other point to doing anything there. Um, I think Yellow's won this game, by the way. I don't think Red can stop them, but we'll have to see. Um, Yellow's going to go ahead and retrieve. Because they've got everything they need to win the game. Um, next turn, actually. Yeah, I don't think I don't think red can red definitely can't win the game yet. Uh, and I think yellow can. Because let's let's work this out, right? We only need we only need one, we only need two uranium. We're going to get three. So, if the only thing I do next turn, I send oh, we need one more yellow cake. So we put a laborer there. Two scientists there to get the remaining plutonium, and then we send the remaining scientists over here with the other engineers. Yeah. Uh, we're going to win the game next turn. And Red can't really do anything about that. Red's going to retrieve because they have nothing else that they can do, but it's, it's not going to matter. Yellow's just won the game. Um... Oh, uh, no, he says where he is. Just kidding. Like, even if we use espionage on Red's next turn, it's not going to matter. Because... I never used it all game. Uh, that's kind of interesting. I, that wasn't intentional, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so all yellow has to do is yellow says, I'm going to go to the main board this turn. Give me one yellow cake. Uh, all seven yellow cake go away. Because two scientists are going to make three plutonium. Then immediately, two scientists and four engineers. Spend seven plutonium. And they build this bomb. That gives us a grand total of 32, 18, and 21. Uh, hang on. Wait a minute. Brain. Sorry. 29. Oh, snap. It's not going to be enough. So, right. 10 and 29 is 39. No, yeah, it's enough. Yeah, 39 and 6 is 45. 45 and 32 is 77. So with that, the British have won the war. And they win the game. And that's it. This was a really interesting game that didn't turn out the way I expected it would. I thought Red's uranium engine would just be unstoppable. But we got that lucky draw with the bomb where two of them would have won the game and Red could have only taken one and I know we only did one bombing strike 
That may have been the difference. No, it wasn't the difference. It still would have taken red another two or three turns to get the uranium or plutonium that they would have needed to trigger the bomb. Um, at the end of the day, the most important thing that happened was Britain's advantage over China and their nation cards. This card, I'm going to be honest with you, kind of sucks. Like, it's only good to get laborers back. And I think that really makes it weak. Um, it's cool. It's thematic. I just think it's underpowered. Um, especially when, as the British, I can just build two fighters whenever it strikes my fancy. Um... And red could never threaten me. And that was arguably as important as hitting them with that airstrike that one time. Um, we got some really weird draws on the buildings. Like, there's 32 more cards here. I think every university is out of the deck already. I'm just curious here. Yeah, there's some other reactors in it. No, there's some other uranium. Oh, look at that one. That's spicy. That's a good one. Yeah, look how few reactors came out all game. Um, that's a nice one. Yeah, look at this shit. There were so many reactors that just never came out. Um, it'd be like that sometimes, though. And the fact that... That the only three reactors ever came out... Actually, a fourth one did come out, but it was never really cheap enough. Um, yeah, the fact is, once Yellow could start making Yellow Cake at will... The game was theirs, basically. Their engine was less efficient labor-wise, but more efficient uh, because they could do everything they need to using only their buildings. Red, this is the most important thing on this board. That it cost them $5 to run the enrichment plan is what slowed them down. They had to keep going back for money. Um... And that ultimately is why they weren't able to win. But let's be honest here. This game was incredibly close until that bomb draw. That, I think, is what determined the end of the game. Because if, let's say, we'd drawn three uranium bombs, there's no way in hell that Yellow is ever going to be able to shift their production model to the point of being able to build uranium bombs. They just couldn't have done it. Yellow had that... Red had that flexibility, but red didn't get it in time. Um, we never used espionage. And I've got to be honest with you. Espionage is super cool in the right circumstances. If somebody has a game-breaking building that you want a piece of... It's really great for that. And it's even better if you have more than two players. Um, but I said we only did one airstrike and we only did we did zero espionage all game. I'm not super surprised, but I'm a little surprised that it just wasn't a smart strategy for either side. Um, especially because it was Britain. Um, MVP card is this. Like, being able to just crap out two fighters for the cost of one worker basically meant that China could never compete with them. But. What a wild ride this was. I, I genuinely thought because Red was able to build this bomb, I thought there's no way until I did the math and realized I wouldn't have enough points. 
Um, and most would have ended the game with 68 points, and that's not 70, and that means they lose. Um, now, next week, we're going to be playing Mini Rogue, um, which is a lovely little solo game. Uh, it also has a two-player variant, but we're going to play it solo because I think it just runs a little bit more smoothly as a solo game. But it is one to two players. Uh, and that'll be a lot of fun. And a very quick game, too. Until next time, though, this has been Avgardian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you good day. And that wasn't really like a nuclear blast. It'd be kind of cool if it was, though.